My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Herzl's Workshop, specifically Monster Train. We are going to be playing the Corrosive Cash Challenge here. All units take damage at the end of your turn and your units taking damage loses you money. So that is two damage to all units after combat and lose one whenever a friendly unit takes damage. Toss in all units have multi-strike for fun. All units have multi-strike, eh? That says that we want to use Primordium, and use Primordium specifically uh, the Superfood buff in order to pass forward that multi-strike. And I'm also taking the Awoken here so that I have uh, a little bit more support for the increasing the stats that will pass forwards, but also so that I have more access to healing so I can counter the effects of this Acid Rain. I already feel pretty damn good about this. We see two immortal trades, two vine grasps, and a cave in in the base deck. Not a huge fan of what we just sound there, though. Whenever you would play a card that would descend or descend an enemy unit, also apply dace two. I mean, if there were more ascend and descends in this class, maybe. But since there aren't, the abandoned Antumbra. Don't really like my starting relic here either. Well, at least we can pass our status effects forwards. Phew. Was worried that was all not going to go our way. It's totally fine to set up on the top floor with these, I think. <laughs> Muscle Jeweler! Wait, it actually gets eaten before it dies! Could have sworn it was gonna die. Ooh. Actually do get that plink off. Lovely. Decent shiny steward there too. Uh, I can block a decent amount of damage with two rubble morsels here. Do I really want to do that? Probably not, I don't think. Passing forward lifesteal here on the top line isn't awful though. And in fact, we're quite likely to pass forward more life steal. Sure. You slay to gain a damage shield, yeah, so I really should put that in the back line. So here we should find that you are more than enough to take out every line by yourself. Even when this is just buffing a single train steward, we've got a 100 damage train steward out right now. Like, it's very powerful. It's ought to be more than enough and proves to be as well. Nice. Mine collapse, making the morsel and Tumbra assault. Closest here is the Mind Collapse. Possibly trying to give it a plus 10 late. Okay, maybe that was fair. It's not awful. Restoration, Detonation, Sting, and Wildwood Sap. That Wildwood Sap, passing that forward is real handy here. This is the ability to offset the damage incoming from Acid Rain. I really like the idea of passing forward constantly to an alloyed construct, but I don't want it to cease being able to attack at any point. It's an Animus of Will that already starts with a bunch of Multi-Strike. It doesn't need more Multi-Strike here. So the Merchant of Steel is an Awoken banner. We don't even really need a Gorge unit. We just need a unit that's really capable of wielding the stats. So that just means one that already has high damage, right? No. What's going to make it a better body for holding this? I mean, Sweep? You can't give Sweep to other things. I could just put a Husk Hermit in the front line. Actually. It literally only needs Quick if we take it to the Husk Hermit. Sure. 
I miss out on Shattered Shell as the possibility, but maybe we go over here and see Shattered Shell and then cut the husk hermit. It's possible. There's the quick. There's the Shattered Shell. Okay. We'll do it. Shattered Shell gets quick. Do I want to just give it damage shield three? Keep it alive? No, it has quick. How do I grow its health? It's going to be the question I have to ask over the next couple of floors. Maybe it's just a large stone. It's just a large stone and then it's enough. Start a battle enemy units each floor. Start all battle enemy units appear on each floor is the sentence that I tried to say there and accidentally uh, said one word. Primordium with the shattered shell behind. And yeah, we're pretty well set. Good old multi-strike. Keep getting those buffs on the back line as well. Yeah. So this already ruins floors just by itself. I need to increase the duration that the Primordium is alive for, as well as the health that it pushes forwards. That's the two obvious avenues here for getting significantly more powerful. If I cut down how many morsels we actually use, and also maybe don't use Entombro, um, abandoned Entombro, that is, uh, I may have the ability just to retch a unit back out as well. I should put down fewer minions so I take less damage, right? All these minions on other floors are just costing us HP. HP. <laughs> I refer to my money as HP because that's how much I believe in its value. Space Prism. Prismal Dust isn't awful here either. Passes forward a significant amount of damage shield. Possibly, at least. Steel Enhancer makes a lot of sense too. Sharpen's not bad, but Steel Enhancer actually gives health and I really need the health. I really want something like a Glimmer, also. Every unit merchant steel, so... Double stack. There's a few things over there that I could hit, but... This could be a lot safer. Vapor Funnel? If I get to negative five. No, I'm gonna take the pressure plating rather than Vapor Funnel there. Copy a card, or five times. I don't know if I have a single card that I want to copy. Ah! Uh, I could probably take five Steel Enhancers and not be too sad about it. This is going to make it a lot easier for me to put Draw in this deck. So it's literally just set up on the top floor with these two units and just go, 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 go. Try and play no other units if I have the ability as well. If we're not size decreased on the top floor, we can start eating morsels there too. There is... Oh, wow, I really didn't want those. There is one big problem here. Okay, never mind. The Constructed Explosive, if that went on the top floor, that would have been a problem for the Shattered Shell because it got dazed, passed forwarded by the Primordium. Oh my god. Okay, these are the last cards we play. I said last cards we play, but the rest of this is kind of working. All right, top floor. Do what you can because we must. your power now as well eh, 200 and you do that before the enemies attack i wonder if that's enough 
Let's get some more lifesteal. I'm worried that I'm going to run out of lifesteal before I start losing any of my damage shields here, and that's just unacceptable. Nice. Retch, 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 retch. Shroud Mitosis. No. Well, I mean, I'd, I'd probably be able to get value out of Shroud Mitosis every time I play it. It's just whether or not I don't want to. Blazing Bolts. No, no. Like, are any of those as powerful as more consistency in generating uh, extra uh, extra buffs on the Primordium? No, is, is my response to that. I don't believe so. All of those might have been viable prior, but they're not now. Take the draw. Hellvent for another dupe. And no, it feels like we're looking for Large Stone now. <laughs> Multi-Strike 1. I mean, starting out with Multi-Strike 1 is not a bad play, possibly here. Okay. So you pass forward more damage with the aggressive edible, but Superfood starts passing forward damage shield. I like passing forward damage shield as well. What are the upgrades that could actually go on to the Shattered Shell at this point, right? Literally, it's just HP. I'm looking for the, the large stone. No. Endless? I mean, it if it dies, it gets resummoned. Not bad. I'm going to hold on to my money until I get the large stone. Um, also, I am going to officially get the husk helmet out of the deck. It's a banner unit, so it would have gotten drawn in one of the first two turns. And if it got drawn in the first turn, it's blocking the draw of the other one for me. So I have to kill it. Uh, do I leak some damage here in order to set up low? Yes. None of that's going to be leak damage. That's all just acid rain. Love these vine grasps just constantly turning up at the right time. I don't have spells that can kill that clipped guardian if you move past either. Fine. It's going to take me a lot of damage here. But we'll do it. A lot of damage. By a lot of damage, I mean a lot of money. Ha! <laughs> uh... Alright, fine. There we go. Can I even deal seven damage to that target standing by? I can, totally, yeah. Mind collapse is exactly how I do that. Thanks, game. Very kind of you. Uh, do we want an immortal trade out there? Yep. We Ember Drain now. Beauty. Okay, that's the ability to get the Primordium back. Yep, please. Let me take it back. Pyro. Draw negative two next turn. Plus one energy for the rest of the battle. Yeah. It's compatible. Makes it easier for me to take my next draw that I was always gonna, already going to be taking. Uh, merchant of Trinkets versus Hellbent over on this side. I mean, I... I don't think I need another wretch. Not what I was looking for. I'm actually going to hard roll here. Wow. It's really not what I was looking for. Oh, yeah, Garunis. Okay, I'm just going to leave all of that, I think. Major or minor refraction. Oh, my God. I really wish I could major a fraction the Shattered Shell there, but then I can't put the Primordium behind it. 
Well, now I make it one size. What am I even benefiting from doing here, making it one size? Am I benefiting at all? I can put more morsels on that floor? I don't really do that, though. I, I might do it occasionally, I guess. I'll take the upgrade. I really wanted any of the... Let's actually have a look at the logbook, because there's a couple of these that are super obvious. There are a fair few Umbras that are just apply some effect to the first friendly unit summoned each turn. So two damage shield, that'd be really great for just passing forward that two damage shield every turn. Uh, there's also the yet yeah, friendly unit center with life steal two. Another way to get that same similar kind of buff. Um, I think there's another one in the base set of some kind. Not really gonna bother integra uh, interrogating that right now. Let's go to the fifth ring. Not most enemies just all health within the floor. That's totally fine because, uh, well, it's totally fine. <laughs> it is because it is. Oh my god, what a great opening turn. Alright. Got a shell, pass forward as many uh prismal dusts as I can. I shouldn't have killed that. The Shattered Shell really wanted that buff. God, I wish I'd it, Permafrost on the, the wretch is a big upgrade opportunity for us. Uh, season what? Uh, what are you doing up there? You lost, bud? Ooh, we're about to take a decent amount of damage there. I did not think there was any chance anything was going to get through. <laughs> I'm very surprised anything did. This must have just gotten enough harvest trees to live. Mm. Life seal makes no sense on this anymore with the amount of multi strike. I mean, it never made any sense on it because of the amount of multi strike it gets. Oh. actually got to a pretty threatening stage here. I'm starting to get worried. Units cost negative two. All right. Makes it real easy for us. Uh, Shroud Spike. Still not great. Another Pyro. Still not great. Take it, I guess. There's so many cards I want to cut out of this deck. I'd love to go to that unstable vortex, but unfortunately it's no longer valuable for us. Fine, Merchant of Magic. Come on, permafrost. Hold over. I mean... That is just permafrost on the wretch because it's zero cost, so I just play it on a different... Well, it's not permafrost, right? I have to draw it next turn, so it's not permafrost. It's extremely not permafrost. I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry, I implied that it was even slightly permafrost. Yeah, I definitely don't want to hold it over. This way you consume a little plink ain't bad, though. Decrease the straight-up cost of... Ooh, no, I'm going to make Prismal Dust do more, I think. Double stack on the Prismal. And just decrease the cost of another Root Seeds and move on. All right, concealed in Caverns, what do you got for us? Health, health, health. Hey, some life steal. Don't mind if I do. If nothing else, that will give the ability to heal back up our uh, our backliner. Wait, no, they were already they already had damage shield, so they were always passing forward their full health amount. That is the uh, penumbra I'm talking about at this point. Lightning dark shot, shattering dark shot, sure. I can set up on the bottom floor here, totally. I don't have to do anything with any of those. 
Ooh. Big Prismal Dust pushed forward there as well. Feeling pretty confident about my HP. Or rather my Divine Shield that we're getting over the course of this. Great news here as well. The Primordium's dying before we get the Wretch out. Hmm, to send you so I can deal 217 damage here. Wait, hang on. Trees when one of your units dies on this floor. That's not going to happen. There we go with the contribution of Wretch. Get that Primordium back out. Keep giving him all the buffs. Oh, it just gets better. It's all of these that I really don't want anywhere, though. Uh, you know what? I'll take a bunch of energy for the next turn, sure. Could be worse. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, I can cast the rest of those spells against the boss, but the amount we're going to lose by, if we lose, is not going to be small. It's going to be a large, large... Maybe I should have just given hold over to the, the wretch anyway. Actually, this is a kill already. Nice. Oh, that's another wretch, but that's also an Awoken Rail Spike. Uh, I mean, Awoken Rail Spike is just draw for us right now. That's all it is, but draw is good. I'm taking the second wretch. Screw it. Take an extra draw there as well. Come on, Perma. Hey, 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 Perma. All right, Perma on one of the wretches. Give a... Almost 10 to mine collapse, I guess. Uh, the cost of root seeds and roll. Hold over. Oh my god. Yeah, that one wretch is more than enough for us at this point as well. Plus 10 to the mine collapse. Just making a good way to get some extra energy back if I need it. Uh, I mean, there are so many things that I want to purge here, but like the Chinese stewards come immediately to mind because I can't play them. Gift of gratitude, heaven's gold, petty theft. I'm gonna take gift of gratitude just for. I mean, honestly, it's probably just gonna pay for a single unit removal, and that's good enough. Speaking of you, the mines. <laughs> Forgot that I'd removed the shell earlier on. I don't need to pass forward damage. I just need to pass forward my, my uh, damage shield. I wish I had a longer buff A timer there instead, but I mean, I, I do have the, the wretches to handle that. Start a battle, animates your range floor. That's fine. I may need to try and use the Antumbra to chump block for us a little here. Okay, that's actually going to be difficult then. Hmm. We're going to be really amber drained if I set up there. So if I set up in this middle floor, I can use a single magma muscle to block five damage and then. Oh god. And then the Shattered Shell dies. If I put the Primordium in front, then it wouldn't get re. Yeah, then it wouldn't go into the Eaten pile, so it wouldn't come back. Or I could set up on the top floor and not actually kill anything. But then they kill me. These will die to Acid Rain if I leave them, so I could set up on the very bottom. Which actually seems like the only play I can make right now. I 
That's sweep as well, so you will actually hit the uh, magma morsel if I play it. Ow. Nice. Mine collapse came out at the exact right time here. I wish I had a drip fall to just descend some of these units. My life went a hell of a lot easier. Hmm. It's feeling like the setup is going to cost us all of our HP right now. Prismal Dust's nothing this turn. Two, one, two, 40, 40, one, two, 40. Literally the last shot of the fire is going to be left on three HP here. Okay. Oh my God, don't tell me. Primordium's back in the draw pile? Okay, I guess. Oh, that hurts. I mean, we're still alive, but yikes. Wish I had the ability to utilize the mind collapse and gift of gratitude here. I just have to play the gift of gratitude. I mean, this is the last floor that I actually get to play it for any effect. Okay, we've already got our kill. I'm gonna take that one and move on. Oh, yikes. I really, really, really would have benefited from the uh, vapor funnel as it turns out. This tap. I don't need more multi strike on that back liner. Definitely don't need more ember drain. Uh, pass here too. So, what? I'm setting up on the top floor against an enemy that gives me scourges? That kind of wants me to go over here literally just to get to the Pyromains for HP for the possibility I fail to play a Scourge every single turn. Rooted to enemy units when they enter the room below the Pyro Room. I mean, that's where I want to set up ideally, but I may not be able to. House <laughs> Banners is more than nothing. Is it? Maybe the pie wall is what we want there. I'm feeling more and more like my dupe should be that mind collapse, just so I can guarantee that I have enough energy. Especially early on. One more purge, getting another shiny steward out of here and going for the boss. Spell card played each turn gets consumed. So we set up on the top, please. Okay, it size limited the bottom floor. Unfortunately, the purifier is still there on the bottom floor though. Uh, you don't spawn light wings, do you? No, otherwise you would have spawned them on that turn. Okay, I can set up on the middle floor. 
But then literally, like, if that Gilded Wing gets past us at all, we just die. I have to set up on the top. Link on that floor actually may have been really disadvantageous for us. Yeah, because I killed units that would have buffed the Shattered Shell. Okay, that's, that's more damage than I thought I was going to be able to do to the Gilded Wing. And they are pinned there for a turn, so we are now fine, I believe. We are now safe. Do I want to take one damage in order to get more, two more damage shield? No. In fact, maybe I don't even want to play that this turn. Oh, I still want to play it and get another deck. That's our perfect and easy clear. Single Vine Grasp on the back line, just getting rid of that card. Keep the Steel Enhancer. Kill the Purifier, just try and save as much HP here as possible. I love the early damage that we're dealing to Seraph as well. Whoop. Okay, I need to play out enough cards to make space in hand for... Eaten pile is five. Sure. Now we get it back. Mordium's back on the board with all of the stat buffs it had before. So things are going to get real nutty. Now doing a hundred six times over. Another wretch if we really needed it. Keep the damage flying. I love that we kind of called our shots on these. A lot of these challenges actually recently we've been calling our shots on. I've been feeling pretty good about it. Bit validating, you know? Right. Finally take out that back line. And we'll take the two extra energy this turn. Sure. We're actually going to have time as well. Oh God, no! I didn't leave myself with the ability. Why did I do that? Didn't leave myself with enough space in hand, so I put it on top of the deck. Well. I'm gonna miss out on a turn in the Primordium action here. Awful. I can only hope that this is still going to be enough. Okay. So we're going to do 223 damage nine times. The enemy has four multi-strike and we have 14 damage shields. So we get to do that 27 times unperturbed. 27 times 223. That's numbers. Very, very close there at one point. We, we, we can ignore that. It was fine the entire time. We were planning the entire time to be able to take enough damage there. And still make it through. That completes another one of our expert challenges. We'll put a run summary as well as the shareable challenge. But for the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Monster Train, specifically Hersel's Workshop. I'm fine on this one. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.